Hello everyone, welcome back. And today we are talking about New World. I'm very excited. New. So what is New World? What is it? Let's answer that. So I have been able to dig up quite a bit of information on this on the internet over my last month of uh, stalking the game. We'll call it stalking. It's like stalking. stalking. So let's answer the basics. New World is Amazon Game Studios' new MMO. Originally set to release in May is now pushed back to August 25th, but will have a beta period a month before for pre-orders, of course. It places us, the players, in an alternative world in the grand old mid-1600s, when exploration and colonization was a booming. On our voyage to the New World, New World, get it, huh, huh? <clears throat> Ex um, <laughs> on, our, on our exploration to the New World, our voyage... Our ship is wrecked, and we will land on the shores of Aeternum, the place where we will be fighting to survive. Aeternum is a land of mystery and magic. Explorers have been traveling throughout history in search of great power, as, as humans always do. The rumor power comes from Azoth. Azoth is the lifeblood of the land, flowing through Aeternum, and it has shaped shaped it so it's so it's the way they were described it is they wanted to make eden but boost it and all the good things look even gooder and all the bad things look worse which i think they've come out with with that in this um this game it, it just looks so good but um sorry i had, had to switch clip there <clears throat> so a turn is the land magic hang, where, where, i lost my spot but yes so as off is like a magical i'm not sure if it's like it's, it's a resource let's call it a resource but it grants the users power great power so azoth can grant great power to its users or corrupt them absolutely so i guess true it's true absolute power corrupts absolutely right yeah it is what it is it's rumored to be the key to eternal life as well which is a nice tie-in to like that search for the the Fountain of Youth, Spanish redoing, and the Search of the Holy Grail way back then. It, it, it's a cool tie-in of history. I like that. I want to see more like that. Since this is just an alternative universe from us. There's a whole bunch. Of, I, I can go into that. We're going to go into other vi videos about certain subjects. We're just getting a grand overview right now. So, the land is, was inhabited long ago by a people who have come known as the Ancients. For some reason, they mysteriously vanished. They're all gone. But they left behind creatures known as guardians that still roam the earth in in their ruins that uh, are scattered over Eternum. So there's, there's there's ruins everywhere and if you look if you are watching the video um I think we're on a different a different segment but there's there's ruins everywhere and they look fantastic. Um but the guardians protect their secrets. So we're going to have to fight the guardians kind of like in a dungeon esque style in the open world I, from what I'm understanding to get to their secrets and their p treasures and stuff like that, which sounds so cool. Um, but three other groups as well. Three. Tree. 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 That's three. Three other groups of PvE we will have to be fighting on this island. The Lost, who are like a zombie-like creatures. They're husks of the, what, for their former selves. Basically bodies without souls. They're undead. They're the undead. That's what they are. They wander the, the land with no real purpose. Also, we'll have to be facing the Angry Earth, which is... The physical manifestation of the land fighting us, which is sounds crazy. So there's gonna be like vine creatures and bears and bear mutated bears. That sounds really cool though. Um, so yeah, th so that looks like that sounds like a really cool foe we will be fighting. Getting, get, get my, I can't wait to get my hands on this. Can you guys just not not wait to get your hands on this game? I will be part of that beta. I am a sucker. I bought the I bought the I pre-ordered. I'm sorry. I'm so excited for this game. Um, then also, the last group we'll have to be facing is called the Corrupted. Um, they are former explorers who have come here before us, but got corrupted by the land. Or, or by Azoth, I believe. One or the other. Well, like I said, things, details are a bit sketchy exactly what goes on, what Azoth is. So we will, this could all change. So, But we have a couple months to keep digging through. But they fell under Azoth's influence, and they hit those there were those glowing red eyes, and they come after us. And there's other there's other creatures, but it just it looks so cool. But as we establish ourselves in this land, the corrupted will look to push us out. So 
there's a whole fort system in this game. We'll get into that a little bit in the video later in the video. Um, but as we build up, the corrupted want to get, get us out of there. They want the place for themselves. They want all the power for themselves. I'm not sure if they're sentient or if they're being head, led like a hive mind. So it, we'll, we'll see. Um, this guy in the video right now, that's they believe the lead director. He was. This is where they announced that they'll be pushing the game back. So sorry. Um, but yeah. So the corrupted in the form they will be pushing us back in the form of invasions and breaches, which are open world events. So the breaches are really cool because as you as you as your um, company or group or faction gets more power in the area, more like priests will come down and summon these um, portals. I want, to say, I want to say portals. Excuse me if things change in the future, but as of right now, is why I understand them to be portals that summon in a lot more of their brother and their corrupted guards, creatures, nasty, nasty bits, nasty bits. But, um, yeah, so we will have to push them back and destroy those those things. So it's, it's, it's constantly a tug of war of us versus the, the environment, which is really cool, and I can't wait to see how this is going to play out. <clears throat> but also invasions. So we, there are forts and settlements, and they'll be looking to push us out of those and destroy those as well. So we, uh, we'll get into that in a whole other video. But as well as the game itself pushing us back, we will also be fighting each other pvp which is the pvp looks fun i'm not sure how it's gonna tie in exactly it'll be cool to see what they add in the future and here's the thing they already have a roadmap for the next 12 months that they can change they said so we it'll be really cool to see what they add in but the three factions as i know them are currently <clears throat> and we get to join one of these the marauders who are a military who have established who want to establish a free nation where the power rules the Syndicate, a group of who, that searches for forden, ah, forbidden knowledge and to bring new era of progress. And the Covenant, which I think are the Witch Hunters. Which I, I'm leaning towards them. I don't know. I might be some Marauders. I might be, be Covenant. We'll see. Um, maybe you guys can lean me towards one or the other. Comment down below. Um, the Covenant <laughs> uh, fanatics who want to cleanse the earth of heretics. To make its holy nature flourish and bring justice. 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 <clears throat> and, and these factions are all fighting over territories, resources, forts, settlements, all this stuff. And we will be part of that war. And I can't wait to see how it happens. For one, I'm excited to learn even more about all of this. The land, the magic, the story, all of it. Looks so cool. And in the months to come, I can't wait to see what the develop development team uh, put out more of. I mean, they've had a couple of development diaries. Go to their website to check them out. And, and I'm gonna be again. I'm gonna be covering them later in the video if you want to wait, which would be cool. You know, subscribe. You'll be notified um, about this world. But what do you guys think so far? Um, I'm really excited for everything I've seen so far. I'm kind of glad they pushed the. I'm not glad because it sucks. I wanted to play the beta now. Actually, we'd be playing the game now if they didn't. But it looks really, really fun. And um, so wh what do you guys think? What, are you guys going to be Marauders? Are you going to be Covenant? Are you going to be Syndicate? Is it, was it Syndicate? I always forget that one, the third one. Yeah, Syndicate. Um, are you excited for the PvE aspect? Are you excited for the PvP? We'll be covering crafting. There's a whole bunch of more stuff to cover in this game in depth. And we will be going that in later videos. But what do you guys think for now? Are you going to be Marauder, Syndicate, Covenant? Are you excited for the PvE or the PvP side? Should I keep the face cam? Should I not keep the face cam? Let me know. So thank you all for watching. I hope you really did enjoy this. I did. And if you would like to see more videos from me talking about New World, hit that sub button. Hit that like button. We will be talking about leveling, combat, crafting coming up. I've got plans for videos. I'm writing the scripts now. And if you would want to join me in a live stream and come chat with me on Twitch about New World, I'm playing Fable currently, go over there. There'll be a link down in the description below and follow me there as well. It's free. Freedom creating account, all free. And just talk about it while I play Fable for, until this game comes out. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's it for this video. Keep fighting, everybody. And until next time, guys, my name is Justin. I'm boxing. Bye! 
Hi, buddy. Just wanted to do a little shout out. Not sponsored, by the way, but go check out New World Forge. It's a website that's helping us all be prepared and get ready for the New World itself. They even have this little clock telling us when the game is going to be released. So go sh show them some love. I get a lot of my information from th them as well as the team themselves on their new their um development diary. So go show them some love. Link in the description below. You have come to this place, lured by the promise of power and immortality. The darkness will claim you.